Israel successfully launched the OFEC-13 spy satellite into space early this morning. The satellite, the latest in a line of Israeli observation assets in space, will provide the military with better quality images than its predecessors. A Shavit launch vehicle shot the satellite into space from the center of the country this morning. Residents of the area reported hearing the satellite blast off into space. Israel is one, of a, is one of a small number of countries in the world that operate reconnaissance satellites, giving it advanced intelligence gathering capabilities. As of 2020, the cadre included Iran, which successfully launched a spy satellite into orbit after years of failed attempts. And joining me now is Dr. Uzi Arabi, missile and defense analyst. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uzi Rubin. Wobin, my apologies. Dr. Wobin, explain to me Israel's spyware capabilities. Well, that's, that's telling. We uh, have uh, two kinds of satellites, uh, optical satellites and radar satellites. Uh, the optical uh, satellites give uh, precise uh, and high definition pictures from selected areas. And, but they can see through um, clouds and fog while uh, and at night, while um, the radar satellites, like the one that was uh, launched tonight, uh, can see it through everything. So we have these two kinds of satellites, and uh, we, we launch uh, from time to time photographic satellite and a radar satellite. Tonight it was uh, the turn of a radar satellite. And explain how this launch advances Israel's ability to gather intelligence. Well, it's like on satellites. Uh, they hover in space, uh, several hundred kilometers above Earth. They can reach any point and revisit it after a while. And uh, if you want to see what's happening in some installation in an enemy state, uh, you take its picture, uh, you analyze it. Uh, after a while, you revisit, you see another picture, you see what changes there, and you see the it changes over time. And speaking of enemy states, who are the main targets here? Look, everybody knows that our main concern of Israel, I, 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 I'm not in a position to say exactly who's the target right now, but everybody knows that Iran is the main security concern of Israel. So it would be safe to guess that Iran itself targets in Iran places in Iran, objectives in Iran, uh, will be scrutinized by, by this satellite. And for such a small country, how big is the success here? Well, <laughs> it's Israeli chutzpah. When after the program, uh, uh, many in Israel say that it's, uh, it's too big for Israel. We show them it's not. In a small country, we had the human resources and the know-how. Um, to send the satellite to space. In fact, uh, we had dreams about it since the 1960s. And uh, fortunately, in the 1980s, uh, we were uh, able to fulfill them when we launched our first satellite, Rocket One, in uh, 1988. It was uh, quite an achievement. And since then, uh, we, are going. we had some failures, of course. It's uh, not everything is success, but the, but, the, but, but the record is good. Altogether, I think we have about now 80% or more than 80% success. Dr. Uzi Rabi, missile and defense analyst, I want to get, before we leave you, I want to get your take on just how big of a feat this is, just with your experience. How big it is a feat? A, 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 of an accomplishment. It's, the accomplishment is, is tremendous. It's tremendous. It's, it's cutting edge technology. Uh, it's, it's, it's combined both the powerful rockets and very delicate electronics. Uh, the launcher is an uh, epitome in uh, using uh, power uh, smartly, and the uh, satellite is a masterpiece of uh, microelectronics. Dr. Uzi Rubin, thank you very much for your insight today.